So what is the value of the biochemistry and physical literacy program? I hear you ask. Well, it teaches young people like me that how science underpins everything, from medicine to the environment and even space. My name is Nelly and I am from Australia and I get to learn all of this and more in a global community, collaborating and connecting with other students from all around the world, demonstrating just how globally relevant science is. One of my favourite things a part of science are the principles of neuroplasticity, which basically help you understand how you learn. An important rule that they follow is that the younger you are, the easier it is. Having this opportunity now at a younger age is perfect from a neuroplastic point of view. I know that the science literacy we gain will be used to help others in future scientific ventures. Thank you and please help support us in putting on this camp. Now I'm going to pass this here benzene ring to all of my friendly global classmates. Another topic we have learned about in our biochemistry class is how different colored lights work. Colored pigments are colored on the light and that light absorbs the opposite color. For example, a blue light would be coated in thalocyanide and the absorbent spectrum for thalocyanide would look something like this. These color pigments absorb the opposite wavelength light, a yellow, orange, and red, that is roughly a 600 to 650 nanometer wavelength and emit a lower 450 to 500 nanometer light, which is blue. Something else Dr. Fried has taught us is free radical polymerization. This occurs when a polymer, like this example of polyethylene, better known as plastic, forms by continuous addition of free radicals. What are free radicals? These are atoms with one or more unpaired electrons, which makes them very reactive. These free radicals add monomer units, and the polymer chain grows. Hmm, I wonder if I can make lemonade with this limonene molecule, which is also found in lemons. Only one way to find out. I need to squeeze harder. Look, it's working! It's working! Thank you, molecule. Now, let's taste this 1.8% of limonene inside this lemon. Sour. Oh, hi! Would you like to know what makes dough rise? Well, it's all because of yeast. Yeast performs something called a fermentation reaction. A fermentation reaction is a reaction in which an organism is deprived of oxygen and is forced to find other ways to metabolize. It produces carbon dioxide, which causes the dough to rise. I learned a lot of science from Dr. Freed's class, and if you go to summer camp, you can too! Give me a moment, I need to keep this order. Chabella Pizzeria? Mm -hmm. One large pizza coming up. Mozzarella! Pepperoni! <laughs> Dr. Freed's program has gotten me so interested in the periodic table that I can't stop singing about it. There's hydrogen and helium. Urea can cause kidney failure if it is produced in large amounts. They call this uremia. Uremia is caused by a buildup of toxins in your blood and most likely lead to kidney disease. The kidneys go through this mechanism, as you can see on the board, making urea, for it is a major source of being filtered through the kidneys, removing the other waste products from the blood. In animals, we use the terms excretion of nitrogenous waste. Testing for uremia in the kidneys, we use a bum blood test. Even in animals, we use a bum blood test to test for higher levels of urea. Dr. Fried has given me so much knowledge in biochemistry, and I can use this knowledge in my work at my local veterinarian hospital. Biochemistry is essential for understanding how medicines treat disease. One example is targeted cancer therapies. Monoclonal antibodies, or MABs, are designed with the principles that Dr. Fried has taught us. In our online classes, we've learned about hydrogen bonding, which is important to designing new receptors on MABs. When arranged correctly, these receptors can bind to cancer cells and flag them for destruction. At summer camp, we'll be starting to learn the lab skills that will get us ready to create the medicines of the future. 
Biochemistry is everywhere, if you dare to look close enough. Let's go to the molecular level and look at this molecule, chlorophyll. This is one of five well-known varieties. All photosynthetic organisms contain chlorophyll, from harmful algae found in waterways and oceans, to trees, such as the grevillea you can see now. Chlorophyll is vital to plant photosynthesis and can disappear inside a tree and fall, which is what makes the leaves of the tree turn brown. Obviously, it just doesn't happen in all trees, which is why we have evergreens. So biochemistry really is everywhere. Do you see what I mean? Did you know that stars are the factories for new atoms? And since you're made of atoms, you're made of stardust. So anything that has mass is made from a star, like all the planets. Star chemistry is truly wonderful. Hello, I'm Alex. And me and everyone is here at Biochemistry Learning Supercase Classes. We love science. This is our life. This is our passion. This is what we're going to do when we grow up. This camp will help us do experiments that people don't get to do until they get into college. This camp will help us apply our knowledge to the real world and do experiments like PCR testing and protein expression and protein extraction. Dr. Freed has already proven that kids in elementary and middle school can do organic chemistry and biochemistry. With your sponsorship, this camp will put us on accelerated courses and help us to solve tomorrow's problems. On behalf of all of us, thank, thank you, you for considering, considering supporting, supporting our summer, summer camp. camp. Hi, I'm Dan Freed, and I'm the creator of Biochemistry Literacy. If you are interested in learning more about the program or the upcoming summer camp, please visit the project website, biochemistryliteracyforkids.com. I began working on this program around 2011 as a PhD student at Yale University, and over the years, it's really grown into something amazing and really unprecedented. You can see what an effect it has on these kids' lives. Right now, there are around 1,000 homeschool families that have used the program, as well as many, many students in public and private schools. The kids that you just heard from, they really want to bring more of their friends to this camp in Pottersville, New Jersey. And um, there's ways to make that possible. If you want to help contribute to this, um, you can navigate through the website to the contact page, and you can make a donation through the PayPal link there. If you or your company are interested in making a larger tax-deductible donation or to sponsor the camp, um, please contact me and we can work with the Pingree School, which is the organization that's actually running the camp, uh, to make that possible. We'd love to hear from you. Um, anyway, thanks so much for checking out the program, and uh, I hope that you can share this with your friends so that more people can find out about this amazing work that the kids in this program are doing. So thanks so much.